Carroll against Carlton. Gets the hand passed away to Bruns. Up to half forward. Dorotic back in defence. Oh, what a mark by Exel. I wasn't prepared to call it a mark until it got to about a centimetre from the ground. Number two, Warwick Kappa, the first of two giant leaps. Heavy weather of it when the going shouldn't have been that tough. And Osborne owed Carroll that one. Would have liked to give him much more, actually. Kappa! for the season it was a sensational soaring leap number three st kilda's nicky winmar in his first season of vfl football he was one of the buys of the year and this enormous leap in the shadows of the stand at moorabbin took saints fans breath away number four dermot brereton the best of his 142 marks this season the margin 91 points and still about 15 minutes with the win for the Hawks. Oh, what a mark by Brillen! Oh, he was up there forever! Number five, the other skyscraper by Kappa. And the good players continue from Mossop and Smith. And downfield it goes once again. Kappa from behind! Oh! That was an unbelievable catch. Over the top he went, sat on his shoulders. Number six, Gary Ablett on the Queen's birthday. Up he goes towards Ablett! Oh, unbelievable mark! And number seven in the last round, Greg Burns. Goal as Danny Crawley kicks out looking for McConville. Burns the leaper. Oh, what a mark. Oh, what a super mark over the top. There's the list of the magnificent seven to H. And first, Essendon Rover, Stephen Clark. Over the shot, over the shoulder shot by Williams. Carter being held on to. Blaze allowed to go on. Clark lines up, gets through two, still gets through, kicks the goal, goal! Goal B, Brian Royal defies the slop against Geelong. 13 goals between them, and that's uh, easily the highest scoring game for the day. Comes to Royal off the pack. He goes long, this is a chance! Goal C, the undiminished skills of Robert Flower. Up towards between centre half forward and full forward. Flanagan, a little slow. Flower pounces on it. Left foot kick by Flower is a goal. A great goal by Robert Flower. Goal D, the long left boot of Mark Bays. Langford, you're in trouble if the bounce is ordinary. It was. Lester Smith there to back him up. Kicks it wide towards the wing. Kappa, now trip. Comes through. Bays it is. Bays well, left foot kick. Is a goal. Oh, what well, a goal. what a magnificent kick by Bay. Goal E, a great snap at Geelong by Paul Couch. Jeff Lee, rather standing shot. Yes, John Nichols. Russell grabs it, unattended, shot for goal, couch, dangerous, boundary line close, now he's got it, screws it round for a goal, he's put it through, that's, he, that's incredible, incredible goal by uh, Paul Couch. Goal F, sheer brilliance by Swans winger David Murphy. And it's off on everywhere through Langford, Langford out, he is marked over by Murphy with spectacular skill and sends a thumping kick. And that is the play of the match. What man he give us won't a play. See any better than that. Goal G, that long bomb of Bruce Lindner's. Burke finds Lindner this time. Gets away from the tackle. A long kick. It is a long kick. It's a giant kick. It's a whopper. Oh, it's, oh, it's kick of the match from the man who's been in Siberia all day. And goal H, a long leg break by Laurie Keane. If they could uh, grab the points here. And they've got a chance. Keane, 70 metres from goal, kicks a monster. Glenn Dinning with two to beat. The ball bounces through! An amazing goal by Keane! So there are the eight great goals.